simple way to solve the uh, issue with migrants in cities not having enough resources to accommodate the migrants. Yeah, increase taxes on the rich because, you know, they love using migrants uh, as employees. I mean, look at the Republicans uh, seeking to pass bills to allow migrants as young as 14 to work in meatpacking plants and other places, as well as uh, uh, cut the loopholes and remove them. You then, you know, uh, cut the budget for the military and the police, and then boom, we have enough money to help uh, migrants coming into the United States as well as uh, uh, American citizens in the United States because both these groups could be helped at the same time. Tonight, New York City's mayor pushing back on criticism of a new $50 million program to hand out prepaid debit cards to migrant families. We need to dispel the rumor that we gave American Express cards to everyone. Adams insisting the prepaid cards would curb the cost of inefficient food distribution that has led to expensive food waste, potentially saving taxpayers roughly $7 million a year. Adding the cards can only be used for food and baby supplies with a limit of up to... Okay, if it's, uh, food, if it's a food card that can only be used for food and baby supplies, well then, you know, uh, a lot of right-wingers should be in support of it. Because aren't they all about, you know, helping moms and caring about kids and stuff? Well, I mean, if these uh, kids are not being able to eat, then that means they're going to die. So if they don't care about them dying of starvation, then that just means that right-wingers don't care about kids at all. Or they just... Or they're just saying they care only about certain kids, kids of a certain skin tone or nationality. A thousand dollars per month for a family of four. If this is successful, we're going to expand it even more. The pilot program drawing immediate criticism, including from rapper 50 Cent, who went on to social media to vent his frustration, writing, maybe Trump is the answer. I told them. Um well, maybe Trump is the answer. Trump is the answer because Mayor Eric Adams uh, wanted to help migrants by allowing them to afford food. That is crazy to come to such a conclusion. Like, everybody deserves to be able to eat. I don't care who you are. People need to eat. That's just a fact of life. Uh, I mean, a program like this should be expanded to everybody. Every, everybody in the United States should be able to uh, get a food card so that they can help afford food. And, I mean, we should actually be implementing UBI which will allow people to afford more bills and food and stuff like that, especially with how um, the cost of living is continually increasing. 50 Cent to hit me up. I would love to explain it uh, to him. And over the weekend, Texas Governor Greg Abbott joining the choir of criticism while on Fox News, calling the program insanity. So it may be the most reprehensible thing that I've seen take place over the past 48 hours. It's the latest. It, it's funny how right-wing Christians hate the idea of helping our neighbors, our neighbors and other nations. It's like, didn't didn't Jesus tell you to help your neighbors? Doesn't the Bible say help strangers that come into your land? Because uh, others were strangers that came out of well, because the Hebrews were strangers in Egypt, and you know God God has said to treat strangers as if they were your own. Treat your neighbors as if they were your family. But, you know, right-wing Christians really hold up to that idea. And it is pretty wild, actually. I mean, honestly, it's just people. 
that just want to come to the United States for a better life. It's effort by New York City officials to deal with the ongoing migrant surge. More than 173,000 migrants and asylum seekers have arrived in New York City since the spring of 2022. Both the New York Democratic Okay, since the spring of 2022. It's 2024 now. Almost springtime. It's almost two years. Barely anybody over the past two years, over the past 24 months. I mean, the United States has more than enough room to accommodate these people. I mean, if the United States is supposed to be the richest nation in the world, then we can easily create uh, housing for these people. Governor and the mayor have been pleading for federal support, insisting the city is at a breaking point. This has hurt us. And where the White House needs to make adjustments. The move as the search continues for migrants who were caught on camera attacking two New York City police officers last month. Seven suspects were arrested and six of those were released without bond. Police say they believe at least six more people were involved. Get them all. But we can't blame, like, we can't claim all migrants are bad people just because of these few. <clears throat> that would be like saying um, all white people are bad because of the mom, the YouTuber mom, who was arrested and jailed for abusing her kids. I mean, that happens quite often, doesn't it not? I mean, but we can't say... We can't say all white people are bad. I mean, when one group of people, when uh, individuals or a group of indi individuals um, from like an ethnic group or something or nationality does something, you can't blame the entire group of people for the actions of the few. I mean, what we're going to do, collectively punish everybody? Send them back. You don't touch our police officers. Governor Kathy Hochul now publicly challenging Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg, saying she... I, I mean, yeah, deport the uh, migrants that committed the attack. I mean, that's what any nation would do. I mean, if you're an and not like a full citizen and commit a crime, you get punished, you get put in jail, and then after you serve your sentence, you get deported. You don't like collectively punish the entire group of people for the actions of a few that's just insane he believes none of the migrants should have been released without bond an assault on a police officer means that she should be sitting in jail bragg defending his decision while condemning the attack saying he didn't request bail out of caution adding he needed to send the right people to jail the video is the start of the process not the end we will continue to work to identify all those responsible and will hold them accountable for their specific roles. Tonight, the Big Apple looking to D.C. for answers as a $118 billion bipartisan bill moves through Congress to impose tougher asylum and border laws. Well, early well only like a part of that is for the border where like uh 60 billion is for ukraine 14 billion for the israeli government and the rest is for the border but this uh, immigration bill may be dead on arrival earlier today we were hearing from governor hochul she was calling on new york's congressional delegation to support that bipartisan border deal she's saying it's quote the most significant 